All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you guys how to play Nessus top lane in the newest patch that just came out. So what you want to run right now is Fleet, Presence, Tenacity, Last Ent, Demolish, and then also the Second Wind. Now, we're going to be using the Second Wind into a specific matchup, into the GP matchup, and that's going to allow us to heal quite a bit. And we also have a D shield in combination for even more healing. And then we also have TP and Ghost. Now, pretty much all I need to know about this matchup is that um, it's more of a matchup that needs patience. Gangplank is going to be permanently like poking with Q and E. And definitely in the early game, it might be a bit of a challenge. But good thing for us, level 6, we absolutely crush him. Like literally, he's got no chance at level 6 at all. And the further that the lane goes, the better it basically gets. So laning phase is more or less just farming with Q all day. And then once we um, surpass level 6, and we have my Lucidity Boots and my Sheen, it's going to become a very easy matchup. So yeah, lots of patience for now. It's definitely okay if you get hit like a couple of times by the Q. That's what we have the second win for. Of course, we're unlucky with the, the CSing. Yeah, you can see like he's put, he's like perma poking like crazy. I'm so unlucky with the farm. But yeah, he's like perma poking like so crazy, like he doesn't even have any mana anymore. We're just healing off of him. Now we just maintain what we have. Nice. I want to get the cannon. You see, like he's been perma poking like crazy. We are literally almost back at full health, and we have we still have my potion as well. We haven't even got to use that, and he literally ran out of his mana. He has got nothing left anymore. Nice. Stack up again. I'm staying away from the auto as much as I can. We have the pressure, which is awesome. Nice, good. We also know where the enemy jungle is. Now that's gonna directly force into his tower, but he's actually freezing. Now we start winning because he's he ran out of mana. Thanks to my healing. I'm gonna use my potion here because I think we can get a kill. Keep on stacking up, remember. You gotta be stacking with Nessus. Uh, I suppose you could probably get a kill on him, but I think I might take the save route. Actually, I don't even have to back off because Zach is in ball lane. That's really good to know. probably dive him. If I had a jungle right now, he would be dead. He decides to back off anyway, which is kind of interesting. Now, I'm kind of staying on purpose. I know that the best option right now is to actually go back to base, but allow me to explain what I'm going to do right here. So, my plan is quite simple. I actually want to take that last CS. I want to get my Lucidity Boots, and then I immediately want to go for a revealable potion right after. So we have, like, Lucidity Boots. This will allow me to stack up a lot faster than normally. So it's going to get me my Power Spike way sooner. And then, at the same time, I bought myself a revealable potion so we can stand even longer in lane. Like, right? We want to last longer times. So that's pretty much what I'm doing it for. Just so I can reach my power spike even faster. Like, Lucidity Boots gives you so much ability haste. It just makes you unbelievably strong. Again, now we can stack up and really do, like, whatever we like. We got sustain now. Nice. 
Nice. Stack up again. I hope I can get a stack on this one. Yep. Eternity. He's got no R. I'm going to all in him. Hmm. Okay. So that's fine. And now we just all in. Well, lucky guy, I guess. He's got lucky today. Next time he won't be. Now we shove the wave out. And we go back after. Just have to be very careful about the jungle. We don't have mana to hard shove anymore. So that's like a little bit of a, uh, of a problem now. Nice, we've got the level up. That means we can shove faster. Okay, now we reset. So now we're going to go back to base and we have two options now. We can go into um, Sheen. Sheen is going to provide me insane damage for all in. Or we can do it what I'm going to do now. Um, go Kindle Jam. And allow me to explain again. So, I literally just used my R. I literally just used my Ghost. And I have my ultimate coming back. But I have no Ghost. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Kindle Jam so I can have more ability haste. Again, more tanky. So, I can spam Q even more. So, I can scale even faster. So, this is like the maximum hyperscaling build you can go for. Just literally rushing ability haste all the time and eventually when you get sheen you will have so many stacks that if you all in you just hard hard win right you can see it already i have 126 stacks already at like eight minutes while fighting gangplank like i think that's a really good start and right now it's going to get even more my q is literally 3.26 so i can perma spam it basically Okay. Yeah, Akshan was inside his W. He was invisible. I could not see him. But it's okay. I don't lose anything. Besides, I have sustain, so I'm fine. I gotta draw him away from the tower. Okay. I'm going to start maxing my W, even though Gangplank can cancel my slow. It's definitely fine for me. I, I want my slow. Sure, he hits that. We got 147 stacks now. So the next wave, we will go back to base. We get my Sheen, and we will literally crush him. So within like two minutes, we will start winning the matchup. He will probably freeze the wave. We, of course, we don't allow him to do that. Smart guy. He's freezing the wave, but not smart enough. Because if I go back to base right now, and I come back, and I have my sheen, the wave will shove towards me eventually. So this guy is done right now. It's over. We walk back to lane now. Now we can freeze the wave. We can literally ghost into Gangplank, and we will... 100% kill him. Like, the only way for him to escape now is by hitting W, walking out of my slow, and then flashing. Like, that's the only way. And even then, I'll likely still beat him. Like, I can probably still chase him down right after. So, take a look at this, guys. It's going to be easy now. I will spam my Q on him any moment I can right now. As well. Let's okay, if that lands... So I get ganked again. Oh, that's unfortunate. Bad. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can't chase him because there's a gangplank right behind it. I can freeze the wave though, so it's not that bad. We have a Thresh coming topside. Okay, he can go in first. And we got him. There we go. Finally, like... Gangplank not getting a gank for once. Now we shove. Stack up all we can. And also we get a proc on this one. <laughs> Multiple ones. Getting kind of close to my item. I think I'll probably TP anyway, so I'm going to see if I can get one more stack. We don't risk anything because we know where people are. There we go. Alright, let's go back to base. We're going to go for... Um, we're going to go for Warhammer so we have even more ability haste. We will TP this one. At least I don't think I have to because he's not shoving the wave. Or oh, he does now. Okay. And here we go again. You see? It's over for him. I can stack all day now. And then all in him when I'm ready. Seems like he's fighting my jungle. So we shove the wave. You should just run. Do it. Yeah, nice try. Thank you. Blocking the damage from my jungle. Obviously. He needs to reset. I'm not gonna touch the tower. I will leave it for where it is because I want I want Gangplank to lose it all. Stack up, 300 stacks. Oh. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. And we go back to stacking. We make sure not to hit the tower, okay? This is crucial. Do not land or do not hit the tower because... I want this guy to lose the wave, right? As much as possible. So we're literally going to stay over here and we're just going to relax and chill. I want this guy to fall behind as far as possible. There we go. Now we can take it. Keep stacking. We have about 400 stacks now, so it's looking pretty good. Now we go back. We buy my Define. And then we start building towards um, Frozen Heart. And then we start building towards Stoneblade. Now, this is a crucial moment. I want you guys to also realize this. Um, when you play Nessus... You always need to get Ability Haze as soon as possible, right? And that means that you're not going for Warden's Mail. Instead, you're going for Glacial. 
because this gives you ability haste and it gives you armor with mana which means you can stack more often all right always think carefully with components you buy because it really makes a huge difference when you play nessus ability haste is top priority you always build that first um with the exception of the first item the defined sunder it really depends it's more situational then but the more ability haste the better it is Got my TP up so we can perma stack and we can fight now. Keep stacking up. We're just stacking all day because we have TP. We can TP any time now, so we can really do whatever we like. And we stack up the camps up here, if there's any camps at all. Stack up. Stack up. I think I'm getting ganged. Yep. I've got my jungle and my support up here. I just need to hold them up for a bit. Oh! oh. <laughs> I can honestly not believe that for a second. He took the lantern. <laughs> I cannot believe that for a second. I nearly died, actually. Got him. I still die. <laughs> Alright, it is what it is. It's like 3 against like 5. I'm, I'm happy with what we got, actually. Besides, I got TV. I'll TV back immediately. <clears throat> By the way... Shredder, you lost your batch. I think that your th I think it just expired, didn't it? I think you have to resub, or you have to re-enable the icon. But I think you have to resub. Okay, so next item we go for Stone Plate. I probably get to kill him. This guy really thinks he can beat me, huh? Thank you. Stack up again. Nice. I have no TP anymore. So we're going to have to be rotating towards mid now. Hey, Dacro Master, thank you for the sub prime, man. Thank you for the support. Hey, welcome to the sub family. Thanks, man. This guy doesn't do anything against me. See you later. Stack up again. Almost. And there we go, stacked up again. Five hundred seventy stacks. I'll have so much damage. It's over for the enemy team. They will never win anymore. <laughs> I don't even have to group mid lane because th this game is just too straightforward for me. I think. 
Oh, now it does actually. I, ah, uh, yeah, I, uh, I accidentally hit my E on Vayne. I should not have done that under tower. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Okay, no problem. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a stage in the game where it really does not make any difference if I die. Like, we will crush it anyway. Because if I get my hands on the stone plate and Thormel and Randowins, well, you, Vayne can auto attack me, can do true damage on me, but like, the damage reflects. The Randowins will also help me against it. She has no chance. I could even go Deadman's Blade. I think the Deadman's Blade is honestly also pretty good. Might even consider that stuff. You guys say Holebreaker Nessus? Well, that also works. Yeah, true. But Holebreaker Nessus, I'm personally not a fan of. I don't really play Holebreaker that much. Got my TP up again. So again, we can do whatever we like. Oh, missed that one. That's going to be a fight in mid, so we have to TP probably. Seems like we don't have to. Six hundred eighty-one stacks is like twenty-two minutes in the game. Probably my best stacking game so far. Uh, well, maybe uh, the exception of another game. But we have 700 stacks in like 23 minutes, which is really good to have. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty close. Ah, oh, I wanted to hit it hit the Q and then the lantern. Okay, I've got my stone plate now. Uh let's go for this one next. So now we need like damage reflection, that's pretty much it. So let's see, my Q is now about like 1.85. This is the best we can get because now we start building more tanky. Um, again, like we can go random wins. I don't think I will go random wins though. I think I might just go with Deadman's Blade. Probably. Yeah, I got exhausted in that fight, man. It's kind of kind of unfortunate. Oh, he's doing that stuff, all right. It's more tanky than I expected. Hmm, they're a lot more tanky than I expected. The Drake is up right now. Okay, we need to get the dragon. Uh, more importantly, we have to find a way to finish the game soon. Because they they will scale up. I can stack this up. I'm staying close to my team now. I've got my stone plate as well. All we have to do right now with the team, just grouping up and we should be okay. <laughs> Not like this at least. Or... Is 
still have my stone plate. Got him. Stack up again. 843 stacks, like 26 minutes. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I get hit. It really doesn't. Could probably get this one then. That's a fight. Mm, I could probably heal up myself. I still have my stone plate. Never had to use my stone plate at all. Well, yeah, I never needed my stone plate at the end of the day. <laughs> Either way, this is Nessus Top Plane. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.